how can I get my access query to just show me a few selections that I know that I want or how can I get my query to exclude only a couple of selections that I know that I want to take out of my query. I'm your host Sean McKenzie and in today's episode we're going to take a look at how to use in and not in in our SQL statement in Microsoft Access in the query grid but also how to use it in our our domain functions like uh, dcount and dmax and dmin and also how to use it on a form filter um, so that you can create a form that only has a few of the types of something and say you've got a, a big list of things and you just want a few types or maybe you want the whole list of things but just excluding a few things and so that's what we're going to do today so without further ado let's get to our in and not in in microsoft access are you a programmer looking for your next gig? Make sure to check out the links in the description. Okay, so I've got uh, this file here that we've used in a couple other of our demonstrations and uh, I've got some tables in there. I filtered it out on the left there just for the moment and I'm going to grab uh, a new query. Uh, so I did a create uh, query and I'm going to search my uh, access objects for candy there and I'm just going to drag that candy table onto our query grid and uh, that's going to uh, basically give us uh, an ability to create a query just on this table for the moment and I'll double click on the star and just to show you what's in the table and uh, so there you go so this is our table um, it's got you know 19 records and uh, pardon me it's got 12 records uh, with the highest ID of 19 and uh, it's just all different candies and their prices and stuff and so what, we, what we're going to show here is we're going to use that type variable and I'm going to double click to put that onto the query grid and, um, and you can see that this is our query and here's the criteria row so that's going to filter our query and by choosing dot star which we did up there that gives us the entire uh, table with all the columns and I've chosen candy type again so I double clicked on that to get that to go into the row there or into the uh, display and I removed the show column because we already show it in you know uh, because we selected all the columns but we're going to use this for our criteria and so to use in uh, all you have to do is in your criteria row there you can type in in and then inside the brackets you can put all of the selections that you want to see and, and in, in this case it's text selection so I want to see all the toffee and all the gumballs but nothing else in that table and so uh, you can see uh, it did it there so this is all toffee and gumballs and, uh, and that's exactly what we want to see. And I will note, um, since these are text selections, they are inside single quotes or double quotes you can use in Access. And I did single quotes on this one. So the text selections need to be inside of the um, inside of uh, quotes. Now you can change the meaning of it or you can change the operation of it by putting a not in front of it. So now it says not in toffee or gumballs. And now when we look at it, we, we've got our list and all of the toffee and gumballs were taken out. And that's uh, what we wanted to see there. So if you've got a huge list, but there's just a few exceptions that you don't want to see, then you can use not in and it is very, very handy as well. And so I'll go ahead and I'll save that and uh, we'll save that as our in not in query I'll do control s to save and uh, then I can show you some other examples here so there's our in not in uh, query and that is uh, filtered on the left there as you can see so uh, now we've got our you know our candy type um, we filtered by candy type but what if we wanted to use ID numbers or something like that you know we only want to see a few of our numeric ID numbers uh, you can do that as well and as you can see I do not put those inside of, of quotes because they are numeric and uh, but you can choose to you know in this case exclude just a couple of numbers so we excluded 14 and 17 
uh, by using not in and what we can do is we can remove the not and if we only wanted to see a couple of those numbers then we can do that by uh, by just uh, using uh, the in statement with 14 and 17. So that's a very nice way of using it in queries. So now you can see how flexible that is. That gives you a way to exclude certain items from your list. Uh, but we can also use in and not in in our expressions or in our VBA code. So I used control G there to open the immediate window and uh, so that gives us uh, a place where we can run specific statements that we want to run or execute subroutines uh, right from the command line here and uh, so in this case I'll say decount so I want to count all of the IDs in, can in the candy table where the candy type uh, includes and I'll use in uh, toffee or gumballs and uh, and so what I'll do there is um, we've got a brackets just like we did in our query and we have the single quotes or double quotes. You can use double quotes. Uh, in this case, you have to use single quotes. The double quotes will screw it up. Um, uh, but uh, so you can see where using single or double does matter. Uh, but in this count, in this case, we've got our count and there are six records. Um, I can change it to a dmax uh, function domain our domain functions there. So the highest ID was 18 and the lowest ID was 6 that you know had toffee or gumballs and uh, and so you can see this is something uh, if you saw my other video about how to use DLOOKUP um, this is something that is very very handy for uh, for all in all kinds of places in your app you can use the domain functions. So just like we did in our, our query here, we said, you know, in uh, toffee and gumballs, um, if I run that same one again, you can see if I go back and I run that, you can see that there are indeed six records uh, uh, that have um, toffee and gumballs as the candy type. And so um, that's a very, very handy thing that, you know, that you can use with DLOOKUP or dcount or dmax or dmin um, and uh, you can also use not in um, just like we did before and it turns out there are also six records that do not have those um, so perhaps not the best example but uh, you can see if we go not in toffee gumballs here uh, then you can see there are also six records uh, with different ID numbers um, and uh, you have successfully excluded the toffee and the gumballs from your list. Now there are also other places that you can use in and not in including in your form filter or if it's a report you've got a report filter uh, your filter uh, property and you can set that. So I'm going to create a simple form here and I'm, there's a lot of tables that's why I've, I've filtered out everything on the left there but you can see I grabbed our candy table and I'm going to create a columnar uh, form and I'll just call this candy in not in uh, form I guess you know uh, just so that we can see this and use it as an example and there you go I hit finish and now you can see we've got this very uh, ugly auto generated form with 12 records in it you can scroll through the records using your uh, scroll bars at the bottom and it basically has all of the entries from the table that you saw earlier. Now you could use the filter, um, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to put it into the properties uh, so that this form will click on the property sheet and make sure that the form is selected in your selector there. Um, so now we can look at the properties for this form. You can see it has this filter uh, property here and uh, we can do the same thing that we did in the other cases where we can type uh, candy type in and then put in whatever selections it is that you want this form to use uh, maybe you have some users that work on you know toffee and gumballs and other users that work on something else or something um, and you'll set that filter on load to yes and you can also set the order by here but we won't do that um, and as you can see now, if I open this form, 
we've used our in statement on the form and it has just the records that we wanted. Um, so in this case we said uh, we used in, uh, so we selected all the uh, toffee and gumballs, but we could also, just like in the other examples, uh, we can use not in to exclude those instead and show all of the other entries in our list. And so um, that's very, very handy. Uh, we can look at that in form view and as you can see now it's chocolate and all everything that is not uh, toffee or gumballs. Now one of the really cool ways that you can use in and not in is to use it with a select statement and so um, that allows you to look into other tables you know so you might know uh, you know some information about the candy you know and in this case what we're going to do is we're going to use the candy ID uh, that is in the candy order table um, so that we can see all of the candy and in this case we're using not in so we're going to we're going to show all the candies that don't have an order and we can use that uh, we can do that by using the not in statement with a select statement and so we'll say select candy ID from candy order and and then that's a nice way of doing it's kind of similar to doing uh, the mismatch query um, and uh, and where you show everything in one list that's not in another list and in this case we can use it using the not in with a select statement which is kind of similar it's a little bit slower than doing a proper a mismatch query but um, we can do it here so as you can see these are all the candies because we're looking at the candy table that don't have orders because we said not in and then we selected all of the candy IDs from the order table so we could switch that around and we could say you know show me everything that does have an order um, you know in in there and uh, you can do that as well and it's kind of similar to doing in this case similar to doing an inner join if you had joined the candy table and the candy order table um, but in some cases uh, using in and not in is more uh, flexible uh, because uh, you know especially in cases where you need to have say an updatable record set uh, well if you have a query with a bunch of joins um, and uh, and you're trying to open a form on that and you might get you know a form not updatable you need an updatable record set for that and one way to get around that sometimes is to use in or not in with a select um, so that the record set underneath of it underneath the form becomes updatable um, but in this case as you can see you can also make it more uh, you can make it more uh, complex I added a where clause there and as you can see, I, it only excluded one record. And uh, that is how you can use in and not in in Microsoft Access. Need help for coaching on your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to use in and not in in Microsoft Access. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Uh, click the bell when you see the bell, and if you have any questions or comments, put those in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.